a few weeks ago, we talked about the prophet Jonah, the unevangelist. Jonah was told by God to go and evangelize to the people living in Nineveh, the capital city of Assyria. And once Jonah did go and witness to them, the citizens of Nineveh at that point in history did repent. Fast forward 14, just 14 years later, when tiglath pileser III took the throne in Assyria. And we see that the city of Nineveh and all of Assyria has returned to its wickedness like a dog returns to its vomit. Yeah, the Assyrians were brutal to their enemies. They were known for cutting people's heads, hands, and feet, and other body parts off. They flayed people alive. They trampled them underfoot. And they did it to both men and women. It wasn't just men they did it to. It was psychological warfare that was meant to inspire terror in people. Yeah, and it did. And Tiglath Pileser III took things to a higher level of terror by creating a professional army. Under his leadership, Assyria conquered country after country. And in 722 BC, as we know, they conquered the northern nation of Israel. People were so deathly afraid of them that sometimes they just surrender without a fight. And as you can imagine, Assyria and its capital city, Nineveh, who once humbled themselves before the one true God, became prideful and arrogant as they became the most powerful empire in the world. 